dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by paragon so this is the love portion um i was gonna do them how i did them last week but you know i was setting up and everything i was like you know what those long videos take way too long to upload um and i was like i'm just gonna break them down into a group of um fours so here we are they will be on um, timestamp so we're doing leo Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. So starting off with Leo first, let's see what do we have for love. It's just like it's kind of like I have to come keep on like looking back. Um, so Leo, there is like this nostalgic um type of energy when it comes to love in you. You're reminiscing or looking something at the past when when you're looking at love this could be how a relationship was um maybe missing certain things within a relationship um it, it, it's almost like you feel that some of you leo may feel like you may be more like you have more of like a roommate than an actual significant other um, and you, you're you're trying to figure out or trying to ask yourself how how you get back to us like how do we get back to us that is the question um, if you had recently like a separation or something like that like there, there is somebody that's asking like, how do we get back to us and um, I don't know why it's coming this way Leo but the question should be how do you get back to you um there is a sense of you you needing to be more more you needing to be more comfortable with you needing to love yourself first um it is great and is honorable let's say to want to take care of others to want to provide for others to want to be there for others but who's there for you who shows up for you are you getting what I'm saying? We have the Two of Cups. The Knight of Swords and then the Seven of Pentacles is in the reverse. So th there may be there may be love within this connection. There may be there is love not maybe. There is love within this connection. There is like potential between this connection but the question is are you both willing to put the work in or is it going to just be one person putting in all the work and regardless of whatever it is how if you choose let's put it this way if you choose to just be the one that gives all how long do you think you can live with that? Or how long do you think that can last before it becomes an issue again? So we have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. And then we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So... Why do you want this is the main thing. <clears throat> so this relationship is more one-sided than anything else. Even if you're still in this, in this connection, there has already been a separation when it comes to, to the way that you guys treat each other and to the emotions or the feelings towards one another. Just physically, the two of you are still living or are, you know, living together or whatever it is. It's more of like a roommate type of thing. Uh, and, uh, you have to decide why you want that. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Oracle card. Confirmation. Advice. Or something they're not seeing clearly that you need to be made aware of. 21. Clover. Release your guilt. Are you holding on to this person because of the time? Because of whatever it is? Um, are they holding something over your head or something like that? Are they telling you that you can't do better or something of that situation? You need to let go of whatever guilt it is or whatever mind game this person is playing with you. 
Virgo. Virgo, right now you're in this energy when it comes to love that you are unbothered. You're like, you know what? Drop your application over there. Um, that's kind of like what you're saying to love at this moment. Anybody that is coming in trying to offer you love, whether they're from the past, whether it is a new person, Leo, uh, the girl Leo, um, <laughs> excuse me, Virgo is taking applications. Um, Leo, maybe this is something that you have to um, start doing, just an FYI. Um, but Virgos, sorry, I didn't mean to um, let Leo take over your reading. But Virgos, you're taking applications, you're focusing on your, your goals and your dreams on your own. Um, you're focusing on building the life that you want to live. And then based on what you see on those applications, what those love offers, um, depends on who you choose um, to share parts of your life with. Um, it, it's almost like just because you're called for an interview doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the full-time position. There is a trial period, and that's kind of how you're looking at things at this moment. So let's go ahead and let's put out some terror just to clarify. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the three of pentacles. And we have the six of cups. Um, there may have been disappointment in the past when it comes to love. It may have felt like... Um, as much as you tried in the past to be the perfect person or to be the devoted spouse, the devoted, devoted whatever, um, you always came up short. Um, you always got the short end of the stick or something like that. So this time around with the Six of Cups and the Upright, you're choosing to do relationship different. Um, you're not rushing into anything. You're not giving anybody any titles. You're not claiming anybody. Again, you're in the process of just taking applications at this moment. So yes, there is a position that is open. No, I do not know when I'm going to fill it, but if you would like to go ahead and drop your application, here is the spot. And that's kind of how you're looking at it um at this moment in time um so let's go ahead <clears throat> and again those are for those virgos that are single so we have seduction and we have the dragonfly so with the seduction we have attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation and third party interference um with the dragonfly we have uh, be lighthearted finding out um Things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So again, there is a shift or there is a change in the way that you're perceiving or you're looking at love. Um, how you're choosing to... It, it's more um, relationship or the word love or whatever it is. is becoming more of a transaction more than anything. Like, yeah, yeah, you can say you love me all you want, but um, are you willing to show up as if you truly love me? Um, so let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle this can be confirmation your advice or something that you need to be made aware of that you're not seeing clearly number 36 gold you don't need someone else to fix you you're you're finally realizing that it doesn't matter what you give to somebody or how you present yourself or how somebody views you or et cetera or how the world views you. Um, at the end of the day, you're you and you are enough. And because of that, you you have this mindset now that you're not just going to go and settle for the first person that comes and gives you a love offer. All right, Libras. What do we have for Libra in love? Um, what are you having nightmares about when it comes to somebody from your past? Maybe you're wanting, um, or you're having nightmares about, there, there's something about nightmares here and love. Nightmares and love. Um, nightmares and love nightmares and love is what i'm getting um so we are going to use the nightmare before christmas deck just to clarify for you libra because all i'm getting is nightmares and love um the potions are cups the pentacles are presents the wands are candles and the swords are needles 
Um, is it that you have a, a, a sour taste in your mouth? Um, maybe uh, your most recent relationship or whatever has left you with like traumatic issues or something of that sort. It just seems very weird. Um, Libra, that you're having nightmares when it comes to love. So let's go ahead and see. We have the King of Presents in the reverse, the Knight of Presents in the upright, and then the Seven of Needles. So, someone may have came in and... There, there's a situation here where you wanted... A connection or a relationship with somebody while they were still in a connection or a relationship with someone else and you wanted what they gave to that connection you wanted that for yourself or vice versa whatever it is but they didn't show up for you as a king as they did for someone else or maybe this is an ex that is with someone else and to for you or to you, they presented themselves or they showed up as a knight and sh they showed up as a king for someone else. And I don't know why nightmare is coming in, but some of you think that there was work done or something like that. Or maybe you have done some work um, to try to get this person um, or maybe some psychological work. I don't know. It is very, it, the whole point was that someone here didn't get what they wanted. The self-indulging, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Key on the rings, many options, decision, uncon, uh, unconventional, string along, and one eye stand. Um... You may be wanting to reach out to this person. Maybe you found out that this person is in a new relationship or this person got back with an ex. Um, or maybe you got back with an ex or something like that. And But there is a, a, a wanting to interfere in something because for whatever the reason, um, someone here feels that they're the one that de deserves this person and, their, and that love, not the other person that they're with. To each their own guys um so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna pull out an oracle card confirmation advice or something that you need to be made aware of that you're not seeing clearly Nineteen lavender surround yourself with love um remember that Sometimes people come into our life either to teach us a lesson or to learn a lesson from us. Um, and the goal in any relationship, let's put it this way, regardless of how it ends, you both should have grown and you both should have matured to a certain level. And, and there's a resisting here of wanting love from one specific person when you have so many others around you that already love you and needing to focus on that energy instead Libra. so we have um hold on, this, i don't want this thing it's gonna go off we have scorpios what do we have for scorpio um you're hiding you're hibernating you are um basking <laughs> okay scorpios i see you um you're enjoying the you're enjoying the moment with somebody at this moment in time you're trying to um there, there's there's a relationship a connection that is being kept a secret um it, it's almost like what people don't know they can't hurt whatever that is um there may be opposing um opposing energies when it comes to um people either trying to talk you out of being in this connection or people telling you that you shouldn't be in this connection or you shouldn't be with this person um i am picking up more 
this may well be somebody from your past or somebody that resembles um has qualities or something of somebody from your past whether the person the, whether the past person has passed away meaning they're no longer with us or um is somebody that you disconnected with from a while ago but there's qualities that are the same and you're you're finally um seeing what this person brings to the table what the what what a person with these qualities is, um bring to the table so it is very interesting because we have the ten of pentacles we have the dreamer of cups is in the reverse with the two of pentacles in the reverse so there is a second chance here whether it is with somebody from the past or someone new but you are you are allowing yourself to take the risk or to take a second chance with um with love and you're not holding on to anything or anyone from the past you're not holding on to what didn't work you're not holding on to who it didn't work out with or whatever the situation may be for you you are at this moment again very excuse me guys you're at this moment embracing the the fresh star or the beginning stages of a relationship Someone from your past has been trying or will be trying to get in contact with you, um, wanting you back. We have the hammer and we have the stabbed in the back. So we have um, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, um, persistent and working on it. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception and shocking attack. So if you are reconnecting with somebody from the past or you have reconnected with somebody from the past, there is a lot of healing that has to be done. There is a lot of work that has to be done. Um, if this is somebody new, it's like about not allowing the past pain or the past hurt um, shadow this relationship or this connection. Um, regardless of anything, I do feel like you are, you are all in in something. And I feel that the person that you're all in with is all in with you, even though you do have someone from your past trying, trying to win you back or trying to seduce you back. Or vice versa, maybe they have somebody from the past that's trying to seduce them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out an oracle card. <laughs> this could be confirmation to the reading, your advice, or something you need to be made aware of. And I laugh because of what came through. 34 voyage you already have the answers whoever it is that you're with right now you feel like they're home they feel like home you feel like home to them there may be again certain issues that need to be addressed doesn't necessarily have to mean cheating or anything like that it can just be perceptions on day-to-day -day life task or whatever it is and really working on getting to a place where the two of you are actually working together instead of against each other. Alrighty, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. If you have not liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.